Hello beautiful family, it's Stephen here, Friday 27th September in the year 2024, I hope you are all well. Some crazy people there surfing, it's freezing cold. Can you see them? I can't see for the sun. Are they certainly not swimming or something? Or maybe you've got wet suits on. Oh, look at it, see it's... It's been, it's been quite a, a rough few days. I'm just going to pray over this video. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm a street preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ and I should be going out this weekend hopefully. So uh, I'm just going to pray over this video. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we give you, we bless you. We come through your gates with thanksgiving and we enter your courts and praise you Lord. And uh, yes Father God, we bless you and praise you and thank you Lord. Give us grateful, thankful hearts and I pray this will be a blessing to everyone watching. Lord God, I pray, remind people that there's not, nothing too hard for you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that the things that are impossible with men are possible with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray you lift up the power and the health and the light and the beauty of your countenance upon everyone and give me what for to speak in the name of Jesus. And uh, I just pray everybody to go away feeling blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen and Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So I'll just get past here, guys. Uh, so, hello. So I hope you're well. The sun's actually come out. But yeah, it's, it's cold. It's like, I mean, it's 27th of September, and normally it's still quite hot. You know, sometimes it's roasting this time of year, but it's, it's quite cold. But what I do is that. I wear uh, shorts, so I'm, I've got some skin exposed so I can soak up some sun to get some vitamin D. Because that's how you get vitamin D, but um, I don't know how it works, but the skin, uh, the sun gives you vitamin D. Uh, so that's why I'm wearing shorts. But I've got, as you can see, I've got a scarf on, a jacket, because it's, it's quite cold. But anyway. So yeah, I'm a preacher of the gospel of the way for you to be saved with everlasting life and guaranteed a place in heaven to be taken up to heaven in the rapture, which is going to happen any moment now, um, very, very, very soon. And then, great tribulation apocalypse. What a time to be alive, living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming any moment, very soon. I'm not setting a date, it could be on this Feast of Trumpets, which Sister Catherine just told me is so, so, somewhere in October. So it's difficult to know when the true time is because of the AI um, messing up all the dates and times and stuff, you know? So it's a great view from here, isn't it? So anyway, um, many of you will will know that I've been preaching with Brother Gavin and um, um, what's, uh, he's doing all right um, he's eating he, I made him a nice meal yesterday he slept at my house and he's doing okay he's getting stronger I just uh, trying to help him to learn to eat better food you know eat better um, because that what they say, you, you are what you eat, um, that, that has a, a lot of truth behind that, of course it does, you know, um, so, and uh, like me, he smoked for many years, so that's another thing, so, but he's given all that up, given everything up, and um, he's doing really well, anyway, I'll just take you up here, Catherine, just get rid of your message for a moment. So I hope you're all well, beautiful family. Uh, I thought I'm too, a little bit too busy to go down on the beach and do a live, but I might be able to do a live later. Um, please keep Gavin in your prayers though, um, so that he will be 100% fit and well. I just pray over this device, Father, that is kept hidden in the secret place of the Most High. Lord God, my whole uh, channel and Google account kept hidden in the secret place of the Most High. There'll be no more people trying to hack into my system in the name of Jesus, Lord God. 
and no witches, warlocks, satanists and devils be able to watch this. The Lord rebuke them and um, by fire, Lord God, they are... No, you just keep this in the hidden place of the Most High Father so that they're not able to look at it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. But Lord, what am I, what am I saying? It's, it's the 27th. The, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now, now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of all mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, upon the Lord, through Jesus Christ. Amen. So, uh, what was he going to say now? Lord, lead me and guide me, Lord, in what to say. So, the rapture of the church is going to happen very soon. And then World War Three. first of all, we're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great... God and our Saviour Jesus Christ Titus 2 13 and he will the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord wherefore we are commanded to comfort one another with these words because it's a pre-tribulation rapture. We go before great tribulation, apocalypse, seven years, Jacob's trouble, when God pours out his wrath and judgments upon this world, the, li the, the likes of which whew, this world's never seen before. As Jesus said, there will be a time so bad, there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. Jesus said, men's hearts will faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world, it's going to be absolutely terrible. This world is going to be turned upside down. So if you haven't believed on Jesus, I pray you believe on him now. I, I, hope, I hope you have believed on him. Um, if, you, if you have, um, you're saved, past tense. You're sealed until the day of redemption with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1.13, 1, Ephesians 4.30. And there's nothing more you need to do to add to your salvation. I, I look online and so many people say, adding, adding to, to what you must do to make, to make sure you're going up in the rapture. They're not rightly dividing the word of God. Um, like Jesus talked about the parable of the, uh, the field being the world and the, the wheat. God, uh, we are the wheat. Children of the kingdom are the wheat, 
and then uh, and then uh, um, then s s an enemy comes and sows tares, which are children of the of the devil, uh, amongst the wheat. And uh, the servants of the the, the farmer say, shall, "Shall we pluck up the tares?" Uh, and uh, <coughs> and he says, "No, lest while you pluck up the tares, you damage the wheat." But let both grow together until harvest time. Um, and then, then uh, he'll send out his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom. Well, to gather us into his barn, up into heaven, and the tears he will tie in bundles to be burnt. So, so people don't rightly divide the word of God and they don't understand that when Jesus said, because ye are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. I think he's basically saying um, that unless you truly believe, because um, he's not going to spew you out of his mouth. If you're born again, he's never going to spew you out of his mouth. Um, because he loves you, you're his child. You know? You're, you're, you're his little children who he loves. So, but there, there were tares amongst the wheat. From whence then have it tares? An enemy have done this. This is what the Word of God says, and the tares are children of the devil. Can they be saved? Yes, yes, because Jesus says in um, Re Revelation chapter 2, I think it is, talking about that. That woman Jezebel that calleth herself a prophetess that teacheth and seduce, seduces my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation except they repent of their deeds.